Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Vans. Today we're gonna make my keto beef and broccoli. And I think you're wondering, hey, what is the difference between regular beef and broccoli that I would get at a uh, Chinese restaurant and keto beef and broccoli? Well, usually beef and broccoli has a lot of sugar in it. So we're gonna use, of course, a low carb sweetener and it also usually uses cornstarch. So I'm gonna show you how we replace that. So let's get started. So for our keto beef and broccoli, first thing we're gonna do is heat up some avocado oil in a hot skillet. You want it to be pretty hot. I've actually got this skillet on high here. And we are going to cook our steak. This is, of course, you need steak for your beef and broccoli. So we're gonna cook this in a very hot skillet. This is thinly sliced um, sirloin steak. You could use pretty much any steak you want, but of course, cheaper steaks are going to be tougher. We cut these into thin slices against the grain. And I'm gonna do this in two batches. I'm gonna cut, I mean, cook these uh, until they're brown on both sides and then I'll do the second batch. Okay, we've got both of our batches of steak nice and brown, so I'm gonna remove them from the pan onto this plate and then we can start cooking our broccoli. So we've got some broccoli florets here and if, you know, the smaller you make the florets, the easier they're gonna be, or the faster they will cook. So we're gonna cook these until they are fork tender. It's gonna take about um, 10 minutes or so. And if you wanted, you could use frozen broccoli florets and they would cook a lot faster than the fresh. Either way would work. Okay, we got our broccoli nice and tender. We got it, we browned it first, just because charred broccoli tastes so much better with a little bit of color on it. And then we made sure and got them fork tender. I had to put a little bit of water in the pan and I put a lid on it just so they could get cook a little bit faster. So now I'm gonna put the steak back in the pan and bring this all together. So we've got with our steak and broccoli, our beef and broccoli here. Oh, I'm gonna add in some beef broth. Turn my heat back up. I'm also gonna add in some low carb sweetener. This is Lakanto. it's my new favorite sweetener. I like this better than Swerve. It doesn't have much of that cooling effect that Swerve has, and I really like it. So we're gonna add also some soy sauce. and some garlic and some ginger paste you could make i mean you could use fresh ginger if you wanted to but i like shortcuts and i like to use the paste it's so much easier so now we're going to thicken this oh it looks so good and smells so good already I've got my heat up, so we want this to start to simmer. And I'm gonna add in some xanthan gum, and we use that in place of the cornstarch that would be used in traditional keto beef, and, I mean, not keto beef and broccoli, traditional beef and broccoli. So we're gonna add in our xanthan gum. And this is one of my favorite keto ingredients. Just, it thickens so nicely. It's, you don't have to use very much. You can find it at Walmart in the baking aisle. But I bought a, a package of it a while ago and it's barely any missing because you only have to use like a teaspoon. So now we're just gonna let this simmer and thicken up. 
That looks really good. Okay, guys, look at this beef and broccoli. It looks amazing. It's super thick and nice and coated. The sauce is so nice. I'm definitely going to sneak a bite. Let me get a little piece of this broccoli and the beef. It's going to be hot. Let me get a quick bite here. Mmm, that is so good. Okay, guys, you can find the recipe for this keto beef and broccoli on my, my website, jenniferbands.com. Just go to jenniferbands.com and search for keto beef and broccoli, or you can just click the link in the description below. And I hope you guys make this recipe. I think it's a winner, of course, since I made it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.